So if you're new to Unity, the first time you see the ref keyword, you might be thinking, what is this? What does it do? This is a bit confusing. Now, what the ref keyword does is it allows information to be stored in a local variable between frames. So the first time you might see this is with smooth damp. So I've got a smooth damp function here. And what this does is it smooths out the movement of my camera so that when I'm moving around, it follows a target, but it does it nice and smoothly. That's what smooth damp does, and it's very good at it. But in order to do that, it needs to have an idea of what happened the frame before it. Specifically, it needs to know how fast it was moving the previous frame. Normally, you can't do that with a function because a function happens all at once. You pass data into it, the whole thing is executed, and that's it. It's done. It doesn't know what happened before it, and it doesn't know what's going to happen afterwards. Um, that's why sometimes you have things like coroutines, which you're able to split logic out over a number of frames. However, in this case, all we really need is velocity data to be stored locally, and that's what the ref keyword does. So when you're writing this function out, you put in your data, and then when you get to the ref keyword, basically what this function is asking for is to reference a local vector three. So what you do is you create a vector three. I've got mine up here, which is the current move velocity. You just pass that in with the ref keyword into that parameter and it works. And you can do this for yourself as well. So if you've got a function that you want to call more than once and you want whatever script that is calling that function to be able to pass in the information that may have changed since it was last called, this is one way to do it by using ref. It means you can keep your function separate somewhere else like in a static class, but the local data, such as the current velocity, is kept locally in the instance class.